No Film School's coverage of Cinegear 2019 is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. And Firefly, unlimited music and non-GMO hosting. Hey No Film School, it's Cassie Brooksbank here at Cinegear, and I'm so excited. Panasonic just unleashed their new mirrorless camera. It's called the Lumix S1H, and it is giving the Sonys a run for their money. It's full frame, under $4,000, and it's available this autumn. It supports anamorphics, 14 stops of dynamic range, and I'm very excited to check it out. So let's go. Yeah. Can you tell me what's so exciting about this new camera and what you guys offer that no one else has right now? Well, we're, we're targeting a much higher level of uh, cinema professional with this particular camera. I think the cool things that people want to know about it, it's full frame, it's on the L mount, um, it'll do 6K video in a 3-2 aspect ratio, so some people would call that probably an open gate look to it. It'll also do 5.9K uh, in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Um, the previous one is 24 frames a second, this one is 30 frames a second. Uh, you know, you got 4K at 60 frame. Uh, it also does full V-Log, not the V-Log L variant. It's got V-Gamut, so that's wider than Rec 2020 color space. And it's 10 bits, so this has the same basic look as a Vericam or an EVA, but it's in this much smaller form factor. So, you know, obviously crash cam, B and C cam, but you're getting the power of an A camera in this form factor. And something that blew me away too is the dynamic range that you guys get out of this. It's 14 full. Over 14, 14 plus, so absolutely. We were on a gigantic screen and no one commented on it. So yeah, we, we were able to, to muster an ISO 10,000 shot in there. For those of you out there who might go and watch the video online, um, it's the Blade Runner shot with the red eye. That's the one that was the ISO 10,000 shot. Yeah, I think 6K does a lot of things, right? So if I'm starting with 6K to begin with and I want to downsample that image for deliverable, that means all my noise gets a little smaller so I can push the ISO a little bit harder. Um, if I want to do some funky stuff like uh, Inception camera turns, remember we're also 3-2 aspect ratio, which means I can do a really cool Inception camera turn in post. I don't have to actually do it with the camera and I can get those really awesome looks in post-production too. So it gives a lot of flexibility there. We're targeting maybe a little bit different customer with a little higher aspiration than that camera because of the 6K capability, because it has an unlimited recording time, because it um, we, we've guaranteed the, the operation of the camera. So we're, we're focused on a little bit different customer. Also with the anamorphic functionality, it's clearly a higher level target for cinema application. And you guys kind of breeze through a filmmaker package at the 199. What can you tell me a little bit about that and what it's offered in that? Sure. I mean, not everybody has a budget to be able to afford a 4,000. It's that's the price we're targeting is 4,000 US for the S S1H, right? So um, the S1 has a retail of 2,500 dollars, and if you want just the dynamic range and image quality of the S1H. The SFU2 Filmmaker Kit gives you access to 10-bit internal recording, up to 30 frames per second in 4K. That's also 60 frame in 1080 at 4, in 10-bit. Um, it gives you the ability to output to an external recorder at 4K60 and get 10-bit with that. It gives you full V-Log, it gives you full V-Gamut, very cam look, 14 plus stops of dynamic range. So you get the look of the S1H. You're not going to get the anamorphic nicety, you're not going to get the 5.9K functionality or the 6K functionality. Um, but for a lot of people, especially for the dock people you were talking about, that S1 might be a better option for them. That's a $200 re retail price. Now, for those of you in America, uh, we understand we have a loyal following of customers. Some folks already bought S1s. For anybody who's already bought an S1 or is planning to, up through July 31st, we're going to go ahead and include the SFU2 for free. So if they register, anybody who already owns a camera, if they register their S1 with us, uh, we'll mail them a SFU2 when it comes available. If you buy this, you know, now through the 31st, uh, you're, the company you buy from, they'll arrange to make sure you get your firmware update. 